Hi, this is vegan vlog number six. And what I want to talk about today is one of my favorite books about veganism and about the philosophy behind veganism. And that is The World Peace Diet by Will Tuttle. It's not a book about telling you how to be vegan or, you know, how to eat or anything like that. It's much more of a philosophy book and uh, the subtitle of the book, The World Peace Diet, is Eating for Spiritual Health and Social Harmony. And in the book, um, Dr. Tuttle talks a lot about what he believes is the connection between um, violence towards animals and violence in the human race. And it really resonated with me and he makes a number of very good um, and graphic arguments. So. It's a book that I go back to time and time again. It, sort of, it reaffirms um, my commitment to nonviolence and um, understanding the real impact that domination of animals and speciesism has on the world. Um, some of the names of the chapters, just to give you an idea of the breadth of the book. Um, Food's Power, uh, Culture of Denial, the Vegan Revolution, uh, The Taboo Against Knowing Who You Eat, a whole section about health uh, called The Intelligence of Human Physiology, um, really great chapter on the domination of the feminine, and uh, The Metaphysics of Food, Reductionist Science and Religion, The Dilemma of Work, where he talks about the effect of the animal agribusiness on the human workers. Um, which is not really an argument that you hear a lot from a lot of vegans. They focus a lot on the animals, but it's very clear that, you know, working in that environment is also really bad for people. Um, and it's, it, it's very dangerous, and it causes a lot of psychological problems for people. Um, and he also uh, talks not just about the problem, but about the solution. And... Um, sort of helps you visualize, you know, what the world would be like if it, if people took his argument to heart and were vegan. Um, I'd also like to read a small part of this of, uh, of a chapter called "Some Objections Answered." One of the objections that I hear from people lots of times, um, they think this is like a totally original argument, but it's really not. Um, is that they say that, you know, other animals eat other animals and, you know, it's part of the cycle of life and also, you know, pointing out that humans evolved eating animals, which are both true statements. Um, but here's why, uh, here's a vegan perspective on that. So, while it is true that some animals eat other animals, animals with herbivore physiologies don't, except if forced by humans to do so. He's talking about, um, like, cows and pigs on factory farms who are forced to be cannibals. Um, nor do they drink the milk intended for other species. It's telling that we use this rationalization in this case, but not in relation to other animal behaviors that we prefer not to emulate, such as the practice by the males of some animal species of killing and eating their own young. The range of animal behaviors is huge and mysterious, and we could justify almost any conceivable human behavior by finding it in some animals, but we certainly wouldn't do so. As for the other objections, if every time we wanted to eat some animal flesh, we had to hold the terrified animal in our hands, look her in the eye, and stab her with a knife, we would find these rationalizations evaporate quickly. Um, so I just thought that was a a good comeback, if you will, to the argument that, oh, other animals do it too. Other animals do a lot of things that humans don't do, and while we recognize the personhood of other animals, um, and we don't want to discriminate against different species, you know, there is a difference between humans and non-human animals, which is our ability to have a uh, moral argument and just by that virtue, as vegans, we say that it's our moral obligation to not discriminate and exploit other animals. If we recognize their personhood, then we're not going to um, discriminate against them. Same, it's the same argument as in like 
uh, arguments like sexism or homophobia and things like that. World Peace Diet, you can get it online at worldpeacediet.org and get the ebook or you can buy it online for $19.95. Really worth it. Awesome book. Thanks.